Hello, hello, guys. So a lot of people were telling me what big difference does the chain system do for a lot of us? Uh, now, I know a lot of you are going to say uh, it's a great thing. It's a bad thing. There are too many legends. Now, first, I can right away agree with you. There are too many legends and chains. And even worse than that, they have the super rival bosses who can arrive once a year. That, that honestly is atrocious, especially for some key chains that a lot of people need. Uh, now, when we're looking at them, as you can see from my team, now, of course, some chains are being currently locked. For example, Vonchi has a chain of Cheetos, but I don't know Jibra, what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah, maybe one or two more chains max can be added to this team using these current players. So, a question I've seen is, uh, since, since we want, the chains are now better, should we change our comp to accommodate chains, especially a bunch of Vonchi users? Uh, we're telling that they were thinking of sticking in the Milky Way. They did have the other legend you needed in that chain anyway. Now, I do want to point out something. Yes, chains are good. Chains will help players, but it's not worth switching out a better player for a chain unless, and I'm quoting this part extremely specifically, it is in the goalkeeper case for the affection chain. That's the only exception. Unless it's that, I honestly would not advise you to change anything. So that's pretty much the, the key point. Now, I do know this will be changing a lot of things. Uh, I personally tested uh, switching out a player for Mariel. I was trying a bunch of funky things. And uh, before even doing anything really serious, I was already able to reach these numbers. This is when not taking a shot. Uh, also, Mariel is an E, as you can tell. So, you know, the numbers would go a little bit higher than that. But again, 6.3K hype. I mean, 6.4, let's be honest. 82% uh, DR, there is honestly a lot of potential if you decide who to switch with who. So, you know, there's a lot of great stuff you're going to be able to do. Now, the one limitation, though, if you really want to be one of those chain side people just because you don't have some OP units, uh, I do know that my team does look very strong, but let's be honest, legend, 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 broken new star, okay, pretty strong, no one likes her, new star, and these two, you know, I mean, yeah, I like them, I love layout, but we, we get my point. Now, if you really do want to get changed, you read the Mono Legend. But if you're at that point, you know exactly what you're doing and you don't really need these videos. Uh, or if you want, you could go Mono Element. And this could be very powerful. Now, a great example of this uh, would be a club mate of mine. Uh, he did this with his team on top of it. He has some chains that are being blocked currently by Aslan. And I want to point out uh, that there's an insane amount of chains right here. Uh, I think, what, five on the top line, six, seven. Uh, add another 4, 11, 13 chains. It's not counting all the Nemesis potential chains in there. Since on top of it, he has a lot of them already maxed out. Pretty sure he also has a Nemesis one since now that's locked. Um, and he'll be able to get some more chains. So right there, we can see how running a Mono uh, is going to allow you to really abuse the chain system. But again, the chains have been weakened. So it doesn't feel that bad, even through they're adding more. Because you do need a Nemesis to get to the old value of the chain. And even if you do, it's still not as good. So it's like the old rival used to give you speed and reflex 15%. Now you get 10% speed if you're a leader. Like Milky Way really feels that as a nerf. Even through some, some of her chains are now easier to get. It really doesn't feel as good of a buff. Again, when you're trying to buff your striker, it never hurts to add someone off a chain. If you're trying to buff your backline, again, it's all the same kind of gigs. So if this helps you guys have a basic understanding of what's going on in the chain-wise. And if you're actually going to change something for chains, I would only really do it if you're doing it for your goalkeeper. And it will at least partially make sense. Okay, don't try to copy my build. I do a lot of weird stuff. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah. That's just a lot of stone stuff being enrolled. Hope I, you got any more comments or opinion on it. Write it down below. And I hope this will help give you guys a little bit of notice on how it's going down.